Menu design is one of the things we love here at Impos. If you follow a few guidelines, you can get the most out of your point of sale and a layout that's efficient and well ordered. Okay, let's get going. So I'm just going to open up back office and open up POS functions and menu design. You'll see this grid uh, that looks pretty similar to your front office layout and that's because it's supposed to reflect what you see on the POS at any given time. Now, on the left here are your sub lists. Okay, these have a designated spot on the left hand side. Okay, now the best bit of advice that I'll give you is that this sub list up in the top left hand corner is going to be the default sub list. Now that is, it's going to be the first sub list that will appear after you log in. So what a few of the other menu designers here at Impost do is make this sub list your fast sub list. So what this means is we put the most popular items and things we need to order a lot of in this sub list. Okay, but how do we populate this sort of screen? Okay, well, the key thing here to master is navigating your search criteria over on the right-hand side of the window. Over here, we have a search criteria that will reflect what we see in the field above. Okay, so if I select item, I'll see my items up here. If I select modifiers, then they will appear above. Now, to save time, we can search for our items or modifiers in a couple of different ways. We can uncheck our all department box and search by each department. Okay, this can be handy if you're grouping a few items from the same department into the same sublist. So, you can see how important it can be to have all items assigned to the correct departments. Otherwise, if this is a large department or a specific item, we can type the name of the item and it will search the department. If we wish to type and search all departments, we can check the all departments checkbox and search criteria will look through the entire database for what you're typing.